Picks him up. Tags in Chico once again. They're going to double up on him again. Exposing that rib cage. Oh, oh what that, you know, and that's a smart move. The Samoans, as good a shape as they are in, you know, they are carrying a little bit of extra weight. If you could take some of that and let them lose their breath, Tommy, it's going to be hard. And you know what? We'll continue to. NWA on fire goes live on tour. February 6th, Fairfield Community Center. Special mixed tag team match. Naughty Adriana and Cousin Larry versus Miss Alicia and Sonny Roselli. Saturday, February 7th, Mexico, Maine, Mexico Recreation Center. Featured match, four-team, eight-man tag team match. Sunday, February 8th, NWA on fire returns to Springvale, Maine at the Nassau Community Center. Special bell time, 6 p.m. Featured match, Giant Farrow and Danny Inferno will take on the team of Big Rick Fuller and the Mighty Apollo, better known as Chaos and Destruction. Sunday, special 6 p.m. start time, the Nassau Community Center, Springvale, Maine. Don't miss the NWA on fire, live on tour. Be there. Folks, we're back with the Samoans and the Latin Hit Squad non-title tag team matchup here. Well, I tell you, the action hasn't stopped. They've been punching, kicking. I mean, I've, I've, I've seen more rules broken in this match than I've seen practically my whole career. Absolutely. What makes this match matchup a little more special is the fact that it is non-title. The Samoans can go for a win here and intimidate, and the Latin Hit Squad, they need a win here to stay and catapult them up into the number one contender well, spot. Well, both teams have something to prove here. You know, you have two powerhouse teams going against each other, you know, and they're both going for the gold, so... Uh, they do have something to prove, and Absolutely. especially the Latin Hit Squad. They're new on the scene, and they want to show what they can do. They want to make an impression on NWA on fire. Oh, absolutely, Tommy. A win here tonight by the Latin Hit Squad would propel them to the number one title spot against the Samoans in title matches. And as you know, as a champion in the NWA, you make the big money, Tommy. That's exactly what they said they were shooting for when they got here, and they sure are living up to what they said, that's for sure. Chico, underneath the clothesline, Makua reverses, misses it again. Oh, big Oh, Tommy, I don't even want to tell you where he got him with that one. Oh, boy. He's going to feel it in the morning. You ain't kidding. The coconuts are going to fall off the tree after <laughs> that one. <laughs> you got that right. Whatever a left, anyway. Big body slam. That's impressive, picking up the 300 pounds like, like it was nothing. Tommy. You know, these two guys, the Latin, they're built like fire plugs. Absolutely. They Chico are built like in. fire plugs. The crowd getting behind the Samoans with the chant of Samoa. The Samoans sure are a favorite of the crowd. The kids love these guys. Kids here. love them. The kids go crazy over the Samoans. Well, you know, they're an exciting team. That's why, you know. And, and I'm surprised they get along as well as they do. They can't speak a word of English, you know. Well, absolutely. But you they know what mystifies me? What, what do they do when they, when they go into a restaurant? I mean, they can't read It's a lot English. of pointing. A lot of pointing, huh? It's a lot of pointing. <laughs> they can't read English. They can't speak English. I've noticed a lot of times on the road they've been traveling with their good friends, the Logan brothers, who have actually helped them accommodate themselves and acclimate themselves to the American lifestyle. Well, maybe they're picking up a word or two here and there, I guess. Absolutely. I guess eventually that's what would happen. Oh, big chops. They're just standing in the middle of the ring and just blasting away this. on each other. Power against power. You're looking at power against power. Makua backing him up. Chico backing away from the big Samoan. Oh, he ran face first into a boy, boot, Tommy boy. Boot in the face. Damn. Tommy, I just want to, while we have a, a brief second here in the action, I want to send the condolences out to a former NWA Stars family, Mr. Paul Fuchs. Uh, known as Paul Enormous on the independent scene in professional wrestling and in the NWA. He made part of a tag team called the Devil's Rejects, which was a huge, huge tag team of two guys over six feet tall based out of New Jersey. And it's just with great sorrow that I announced that Paul Enormous has passed away. Uh, big star in the NWA in New Jersey when I ran shows there, and I just want to send my condolences to his family and friends. Same here. Back to the action. You see... Follow with a huge clothesline, huge chop, Tommy. Oh, one to the head also. That put him down. 
Boy, I tell you what, that that that, that ring vibrates. Samoan they... drop, Tommy. Oh, they're setting him up for their finish. Air Samoa, here it comes. Here comes Air Samoa is right. This is this is when the kids go crazy. He's up to the top. Makua's at the top, but wait a minute. Oh, the Latin hit squad. He, he pulled the rope down. Fallis checking on his opponent. He's checking on his partner, but he gets rolled up from behind. Here it comes. One, two, three. The Latin oh. hit squad has stolen a victory, exactly, Tommy. Exactly, exactly. I'm surprised the referee didn't see that. What is wrong with that referee? Tommy, I don't know. That was some great tag team wrestling there. Yeah, it was great. He saved his partner, Chico, who was going to get Air Samoan. When out of nowhere, he turned around and Father was checking on Makua. That's right. He is saying he used his brain, and I got to agree with him there. He sure did. He sure did. Tommy, I think we're looking at a tag team that just can poke, catapult at themselves. Hey, to well, I, I told you about them. I said, they, they, you know, I know whatever it takes to win, that's what they're going to use. Oh, what a difference a month makes. You're absolutely right, my friend. I mean, just to think a month ago, we were just a couple of players in the Players Club, and now we're the main players <laughs> of the Players Club. Kyle selected us three to be the main three. That's, that's right. You know what? Speaking of that, there's a reason for that, because after this four-team, eight-man tag team championship battle, the gold is coming right back to the golden boy, and most importantly, the Players Club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First we'll thrill you, then we'll kill you. <laughs> this is Big Rick Fuller, and I'm glad to be a part of the NWA on Fire. Be watching for me each and every week as I take down all and everybody that gets in my way. Folks, we're back, and as you see, Rick Fuller is in the NWA, and he means business, Tommy. He's one scary-looking dude, Rico. You're not kidding, and I'll tell you what, if I was on the wrong side of the rules and I had to face this guy, I would think twice about oh, it. Oh, yeah, he'd make you stutter in a heartbeat. Rick Fuller, a local favorite in the New England area, been around for a long time, oh. just back from Japan, Tommy. Oh, yeah, he's big time in Japan. They love him in Japan. I mean, he fills houses in Japan. They love him in Japan. None other than Big Josh taking him on tonight, which should be a challenge because this guy, he's a big dude, Tommy. We've seen him take every one of our main event guys to the limit in NWA on fire. Oh, yeah. I tell you, Big John, it, you know, I've seen him progress greatly. I mean, I remember when he first started out, uh, he was getting really beat and beat up. But now he seems to be holding his own. You know, hasn't had much luck, though, i tell you the truth. No, he hasn't been on the winner's side of the card too much in the last couple of months here. But I'll tell you what, they know he's been in the ring, and they know he has given them all that it takes to get a victory. He just has come up a little bit short. Oh, yes, he has. Now, against Fuller, a little bit short could mean he ended up in the hospital. <laughs> a little bit short could end up in the mortuary, never mind the hospital. I mean, this Rick Fuller is a tough dude. I mean, uh, he's been around, like you say. I mean, he's a top wrestler in the country. I mean, he's wanted all over the country. He decided to come to NWA on fire because he knows that NWA on fire is the most progressive wrestling organization in the nation today. That's right, Tommy. You know what? We have the open door policy. We're welcoming people from Puerto Rico, New England, New Jersey, New York, Philadelphia. Now, it's only a matter of time before we get some Japanese contingent in NWA on fire. And you know what, Tommy? It's the best place right now for pro wrestling in the entire United States. Yeah, we've been getting calls and emails from all over the world, all kinds of talent. Uh, I'm not free to disclose names now, but I'm going to tell you what. 2009 is going to be a big year for NWA on fire. Oh, he backs him up into the corner, and I thought we were going to get a clean break there, but Big Josh, you know what? I think Big Josh realizes he's got to do everything he can with a rake of the eyes there, but oh, right back into Rick Fuller's hands with a clothesline and another one. He bounces right back up, going for more, though. I tell you what, he doesn't back off. Body slam. Oh, a little break to the outside there. Big Josh, I think, has felt enough. Hey, Fairfield, Maine, you can catch NWA on fire action February 6th, Friday night. It's going to be a nationally televised show. We have a mixed tag team match. Something I don't, I don't think any of you guys have seen anything like this one. This is going to be Miss Tyler and Sonny Roselli going against Naughty Adriana. And I'm sure you guys remember her. And her partner is going to be Cousin Larry. Now you remember now, it's the first time Larry's coming back since he hurt his leg. Uh, inflicted upon him by his partner Sonny Roselli. So we know there's going to be a little...